Hey y'all, local anti-Zionist American Jew here. It is Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023, and Bibi, as my comment says, has finally agreed to a temporary ceasefire 46 days after Israel launched their ground invasion. And he's getting exactly what he was going to get if he had agreed 46 days ago. Here's the AP article from this morning. Pause if you need more time to read. Basically, both sides are going to do a hostage exchange during a four-day ceasefire. Now you can follow that comment from the beginning back to the original video where I was discussing how there had been a ceasefire with hostage exchange on the table since October 7th. Well, let me just show you the headline from then. From November 9th at The Guardian, Bibi rejected a ceasefire for hostages deal. This particular deal would have seen women, children, the ill, and the elderly exchanged in return for a five-day ceasefire. At the time, they weren't asking for any Palestinians to be returned. So now Palestine is actually getting more. Hey, that works for me because now with a ceasefire, international journalists are going to be able to get in. Which means we're finally going to see performance professionally done video and photo of everything that's been happening instead of shaky cam from TikTok that legacy media can just ignore. So yeah, 46 days and over 4,500 dead Gaza citizens for BB to do exactly what he was told to do on October 7th. May he have the life he's earned.